the nation's four major rivers have been found to have minor structural problems, a government investigative panel said today, a discovery that could reignite controversy over their safety. The investigative commission under the prime minister's office also said the construction of the dams have worsened the water quality of the rivers. A signature project of the former Imeongba government, the refurbishment of the Han, Nakdong, Kum and Yongsan rivers, had long been at the center of controversy over allegations of shoddy construction, irreversible environmental damage, and collusion in the bidding process for construction contracts. The commission also said water quality at some of the rivers has worsened since the 22 trillion won project was carried out. Called on officials today to beef up the cybersecurity of the country's nuclear reactors and other key infrastructure facilities following cyber attacks in South Korea and the United States. The call comes as South Korea is struggling to find those responsible for a series of leaks of information related to two nuclear reactors. Officials said the Kodi and Warsaw nuclear power plants remain safe as their innermost networks are completely cut off from the internet though the latest incident raised safety concerns. She urged officials to quote again fundamentally check the preparations against cyber terrorism on our nation's key facilities including nuclear reactors end quote in a cabinet meeting in the new administrative city of Sejong. She also said the recent cyber attack on Sony Pictures is the latest reminder of the seriousness of cyber terrorism. Broadcasting will run the Broadcasting Station Field Trip Program to allow people the ability to experience the broadcasting production site from the 5th to the 30th of next month. The event will consist of various programs, including live broadcasting visits, experiencing broadcast recordings, and a tour through the broadcasting station. The entry fee is free, and those who want to participate in the event can apply for the program he or she wants in a pop-up on the homepage of the Busan English Broadcasting. An official in Busan City said it will reduce 7.83% of city bus operation from January the 1st to the 29th of next year. The decision was made in consideration to the reduction of passengers over winter vacation. Jintao's most senior aide state media report. Ling Jihua is accused of disciplinary violations, a Xinhua news agency said, which usually refers to corruption. Thank you for joining us.